Hey, dumpling roll in part two. This one's going to be short. Okay, let me switch the camera. Okay, see this one coming out of the pasta maker? This is perfect consistency. Okay, this is my second strip. My first strip was a little bit too wet. I hadn't rolled it around or, as mom would say, played with it enough in the flour. Here's what it looked like. Now, I've sprinkled flour over top of it, but see the holes? And I'm okay with it. I'm still going to use it. It's not a, you know, it's not something you throw away. But after I get them on the paper like this, on the wax paper, see, I do it on the wax paper. Then I, um, well, that's got a guard on it. That's not going to work out for me, is it? Whoops. Okay, so it had a guard on it. Sorry, I had to take it off. But then I used my pizza cutter, and uh, I cut them into, um, as mom would say, matchbook size. And then after I get this done, and another one beside it, this one here that's coming out of the, the roller, uh, then I will pick up my wax paper and put my wax paper into the box. And that is part two of dumpling rolling. And then I layer them, like I'll have two two big pieces on this sheet, and that'll go in the box, and then, sorry. And then the next sheet, I'll stack on top until I get all of those rolled out, and then they'll go in the freezer. So that's part two of dumpling rolling. If you missed part one, it's on Facebook. Just go to my page and find it. I'm also trying to post these on YouTube, so because I've had a lot of people ask me how I do the dumplings. So this is the dough part of it. Now the chicken and dumplings, that's a different, that's a different video, or will be eventually. So, but yeah, this is how I do the dough. And there's my, uh, somebody asked me, Shelly asked me what it was. It's an atlas. Um, and this is the lasagna side and I sprinkle flour on it. So, cause in my first video, I told you that this is made of clay, so it can't be submerged in water, this wheel here, but it doesn't stick like, like you would think. So, um, this is what I blow off, you know, and you can make a uh, spaghetti and linguine and, you know, things like that on it. I've never done that, but... I'm always, every time I get this thing out, it's dumpling day. So, that's, that's what I'm doing. But this sheet is perfect. This is the right consistency. And I never have nails when I'm doing my dumplings. If I do have nails, I wear gloves because that's just gross. Uh, I don't care how clean of a person you are. If you have long fingernails, you cannot get all the crud out from under them. And I don't want to eat that. Okay? So, um... But that's what I do. I cut, I trim my nails before I do anything like this, unless I, I've just got my nails done or something, and then I wear gloves. So gloves are hard to come by anymore, but I do have some. But yeah, this is how I, I do it, and these are, as mom would say, matchbook size. And then um, I will lay this whole big paper in that box, and just as I do these, I'll lay all of them in that box, and then I'll have a full box of dumplings that I can throw in the freezer. And then once they're frozen, I take them out and I dump this whole uh, paper into a Fry Daddy deep fryer uh, basket, just the basket. Now, no, I'm not frying dumplings. Um, to shake off the excess flour because I sprinkle a little flour on top of it with my um, sifter to keep them from, you know, sticking so bad. So, and I also sprinkle some on the paper when I'm doing the, uh, when I'm rolling out the dough. So, and then again, cut it with your pizza cutter into bite size or matchbook size pieces, as my mom would say, and uh, throw them in your box or whatever pan you've got going on. And that's part two of dumpling um, rolling, or as my mom would have called them, and several other people I know called them slick runners. Uh, I like drop dumplings, and my cousin Jimmy won't eat these dumplings. He he would eat them if I dropped them like a dough ball, but he doesn't like the, I don't know why, but um, I like drop dumplings too, but <clears throat> I also like these. I get sick of them after a while, but I make a lot of them, so that's it. That's part two. Love y'all. Mean it.